everybody, this is part two of my Graphitobian introduction. First thing I want to show you is this brush fold that they sent me. I had to put the brushes back in here because I immediately tried them out and I popped them right into my, um, my brush belt that I wear over my shoulder. I had to put them back in this brush fold because I wanted to show them to you the way they were presented to me. Um, this is a beautiful brush fold and if I didn't have the apron that I clipped to me then I would keep them in here because it's very sturdy and it's very nice. It has a cover for them so they don't get ruined or you know hurt or um, sometimes if they get put somewhere and something's sitting on top of them your brushes can fray. So that's a nice thing, nice feature to have for your brushes, this little flappy thing. I always get emails of people asking me the best starter kit for brushes. They always want to know about MAC starter kits. MAC doesn't sell brush sets. Um, only at like holiday time and when they do sell those they're not real they're not real MAC brushes. They're a travel set that they have like a comp they contract someone to make them or something like that. I don't know. But um, I mean they're good brushes but they're not the same quality that you buy when you buy them individually from MAC. These products are high quality and $96 for all these brushes is not bad and it is an excellent starter kit. I've used so many of them. I use them all now every day like when I do my makeup when I do other people's makeup like I really love them they're high quality you'll love the feel the handle and everything so Graphitobian brushes are good now their skincare it's so yummy Dermacare facial recovery balm okay let me show it to you this is like a body butter I love this stuff. It's great for someone's skin who is really like inflamed, like a very red, like rosacea, that kind of red. Or wind chapped, a sunburn. It's great on sunburn. It does wonders on dry cracked feet. It actually saved one of my brides because she had backless shoes and her feet dried out so bad from a sea salt bath or something that she did. Something dried her feet out. The back of her heels really, really bad. Like they were like white and it was awful. This healed it in like 15 minutes. Her feet looked like dewy again. If you can imagine a dewy heel. <laughs> and the stuff isn't that expensive. So you're going to go find Graphitobian skincare products at thepaintandpowderstore.com and click on Graphitobian and go into skincare. Next up is the toning veil. It's called Alivation. This toning veil is sweet. I love it. It moisturizes and it acts like a primer. Yes, it's like a it's like a toner cream. It's like so fluffy, boingy, and I like the boingy feel because that's what it does to your skin. You can keep this in the refrigerator. It feels awesome on your skin when it's cold. It plumps up lines. It gets rid of puffiness. It takes out redness. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Two things in one. <laughs> this one is my favorite. This is Oxyderm. This is from Graphitobian. And Oxyderm is my favorite because it has hydrolonic acid in it. I love products with the with this ingredient in it because I can use it on anybody. Hydrolonic acid holds water in the skin rather than oil. It's great for an oily, prone, acne prone skin or a dry skin that's prone to cracking. Holding water in the skin is a good thing on any level. This product does have long-term effects, which I like also, and it's made me use a heck of a lot less of my Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. That's the main reason why I use Advanced Night Repair is because of the hyaluronic acid. And anybody who wants to see pictures of this stuff, I'm going to have great big pictures on my blog of everything I show today. All right? Okay, next up we have the Cream Blush Palette. This blush is beautiful. I love cream blush. It looks so natural. It is beautiful. This stuff is not scary. It is blendable and soft and beautiful. You'll love it. Go over and check it out. I believe these little palettes are about $7.99. So um, go over to paintandpowderstore.com, click on Graphitobian, and go check this out. They're blush. I like creamy blush for one of two reasons. The natural look, worn alone, and also the long-lasting effect of doubling. So if you do a cream blush, and you put a little powder blush on top, your bride is going to have blush on all day. Or you're going to have blush on all day. Or somebody is. So if you couple them, it stays. That bright color stays on your face. It looks beautiful. So that's something you can always do with cream blushes. I know traditionally most people use powder. I like cream. It looks more natural. Here's the cream corrector palette. 
This stuff is great too. Most correctors are cakey, hard to blend. They kind of stink. Uh, I always end up like having to thin them out. Really working them to get a good look, to get a good natural look on someone's skin. These leave the skin vibrant after you apply the corrector color and put the um, foundation on top. It looks great. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. And stay tuned for my concealer color theory. I'll be using this. This is awesome, guys. Go check it out. $7.99. Pretty sweet, right? Now, I'm going to show you the foundations. I got sent the Super Palette. So for a makeup artist, High Def Glamour Cream Super Palette, you cannot go wrong with that. It has every range of color. I have the cool, the warm, and the neutral. Between that, like, I feel like I have a foundation store. I don't need any other colors. Like, there's no reason for it. These foundations blend. They stay true. And it, by that, I mean when you put them on and you go outside for 15 minutes and come back in, you are A, not a different color. B, you're not like your makeup's not faded. It's not coming off of you or dissolving into the skin. It's doing what it's supposed to do, sitting on top of the skin and perfecting it. These foundations are good whether you're going on camera, on TV, HD TV, or if you're just going to be at home, just, you know, kicking it at home. Okay, my first one up is my neutral palette. Guys, I jack my makeup up bad. That's why I don't ever show you what's in my makeup bag because I use my makeup like it's art supplies and I just I mess it up bad so alright so there's big beautiful pictures I will remind you again on my blog I'll have a um, a link to that below okay you can go over and see the pictures before I destroyed everything working on people <laughs> okay this is the neutral palette next up this is the cool palette I really like the cool palette. I've just had an opportunity to use that one more. I like them all. It's not one I don't like, no. Okay, and then this is the warm palette. These warm colors are great. There's so many of them. And that's what I love. There's just so many. Now we have the HD Pro Powder. HD Pro Powder is awesome. If anybody's looking for a way to get away from their MAC Studio Fix foundation, their powder foundation, this is your answer. This stuff is amazing. And if you go over to the Graphitobian site, if you're in there, they have a conversion table for your foundation. So you can go in and find like your MAC shade or your Revlon shade. They have like quite a few companies in there. They don't have them all, but you can get a good sense of what your color would be in Graphitobian. So you go into the conversion table and you look for your number or your color and you match it up. Okay, so here's the pro powders. First up is the cool. Beautiful variety of color. Next up, oh, the neutral palette. I beat it up bad. I beat it up so bad. But I use my stuff. I love it. Okay. That was neutral. And next up, I believe, is the warm palette. Now, these are foundations alone. Like, they can stand alone as a foundation. But I like it grouped with the Glamour Cream. It is beautiful, flawless finish. I like to have a natural look that is also okay if I someone snaps a picture of me. I don't like that, you know, that you need different makeup for different things. Like, I believe that TV makeup should be able to be worn in real life. I don't think it should be that dramatically thick. Now, maybe when you're going to be on television, it has to be applied thicker. It just shouldn't be like this gross stuff that you wear on TV. It shouldn't, or take pictures with. It's just not cool. Oh, this is the um, Lip Color Super Palette. This is yummy. I will be doing a fantasy lips tutorial with this. Here it is. I love this stuff. It looks moisturized when it's on, but it stays. So you get that creamy look of lipstick that everybody wants, and it actually sits on your lips. Now, I'm not going to say this is some kind of miracle or some kind of color stay product or anything like that. No lipstick really is unless you're staining your lips, and even then your lip liner is going to wear off. No matter what, lip products come off. These lip colors are pretty amazing. Okay, so there's a large super palette, and there's also a smaller one. I have around here somewhere to show you. <laughs> okay, 
Now I'm going to show you the eyeshadows. These eyeshadows are great. First I'm going to show you my mattes that they sent me. I've used the mattes on several brides. The pictures are phenomenal. I use the mattes for like everyday looks. I have the fantasy eyeshadows too and they are fun. They are really, really fun. I have them on right now, the pink and the purple. Here we have, this is a matte. This is the Ultra Silk Matte Eyeshadow Palette. Okay? All these colors can be also purchased single. You don't have to buy the palettes. But definitely want to get over there and check out the colors that they have available. These colors are amazing. Either palette I suggest for people for everyday use and even like the super glam looks. Like you can do, you can really like make these night looks. I'm going to show you guys tutorials over the next few weeks using these palettes. I plan on working with these a lot. I want to work with Graphitobian until I like can anymore. I really love their stuff. Okay, so now these are the fantasi fantasy, ah, fantasize. Okay, here they are. This is the first one. These ones are beautiful. I've done like on my clients, I've done Jessica Alba look with these, um, Kim Kardashian looks. There's so many looks I've gotten out of just this one palette that I just showed. So that's a great palette to have. You can do really good like smoky eyes with it because of the gray in it and the silver. And I love the white in there. It's like an iridescent white. It's great for these corners. It's beautiful. Okay, now this one is fun. This is just straight up fun. Look at that, guys. It's beautiful, isn't it? I love this. You can use this wet or dry. That's what I really like. These fantasized ones, you can use wet or dry. Now, the matte ones, I don't believe you can use them wet. I have to check with Graphitobian about that. The thing about their eyeshadows that really got me excited was that they're very confident in them. Okay, so I was real excited about checking them out is that they say you can use whatever primer. That's pretty bold because most companies make their eyeshadows and want like make you use their primer. They say, well, that's why it's not coming out right because you're not using our primer. Well, that's not true. A good product is a good product is a good product. You shouldn't have to conform to anything. Okay, everybody, so there it is. There's my new makeup love in my life. I want you to use all to go over to the paintandpowderstore.com. Click on Graphitobian and check out the products that I just showed you. And if you can, try them out and let me know what you think. Or even after you look at them, just come back and let me know what you think about them. And let me know what you think about actually stepping away from MAC. Can it be that there's other makeup companies out there just as bad as MAC? Let me know what you think. Alright, and also, you can find me on Twitter. Facebook. Oh, my blog. <laughs> There's links to all of those on my front channel page. And also on my blog, I will have a also a, a post with a full review of all the products I've just shown. And great, great pictures of before I destroyed all these products <laughs> and used them over and over and over again. Um, I just hope that you love it as much as I do. And I wanted to bring you a review that was based on trial and not on trial and error, but on trial. Something that I want it used to be able to trust. You're putting it on your face, and I just don't want to just send you over to anywhere and say, oh, well, this is great because they send it to me for free. No, that's not the way I roll. So I just wanted you guys to um, have the best perspective of it that I could give you. And please stay tuned for all the tutorials with these products that will be coming up. I'm so excited. Okay? Stay tuned. Oh, and please, 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 please hit that button up there. Subscribe. Or you can go right to my channel and subscribe. Please support me and click subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it if you added me as a friend, too. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>